two days before the trip, I told a friend that I felt like I had to emotionally prepare for this experience. And I was truly surprised by what I found and honestly felt super fulfilled by what we did, the people I met. I'd heard really good things previously um, from people who had attended the trip before and I just wanted the opportunity to immerse myself in another culture and form new connections. What inspired me to join this trip was definitely coming back again for the second time and continuing to engage with uh, Agahozo Shalom Youth Village community. The students and the staff welcomed all of us with open arms and were so inviting, helping us with village activities and showing us around. It's such an open and welcoming community and that's probably my, my favorite part of the trip. Just those little small connections, walking places together, family time. I did a little of a traditional Rwandan dance and the students were so kind to me and so patient with me. I was just having such a great time. One of my favorite things to do was engaging with the students at ASYV. I'm kind of a musician myself and the second they heard that, they encouraged me to get into the studio and we did a rap together and I could just sense the, the energy and the excitement and the good vibes in the room. I'm constantly learning, me helping with English, them teaching me Kinyawanda, and it was honestly so beautiful. I personally feel like discussion sessions were one of the most important parts of the trip. Just being able to hear everybody's different perspectives. A lot of the ideas that we talked about apply to not only the ASYV village model and the students in ASYV, but also the Rwandan people and Rwanda as a country. I think service learning to me, first and foremost, is responsible learning and active learning on the ground. We can engage responsibly with communities and provide any sort of learning service that we can offer, namely helping students with their English language speaking skills. I would definitely say um, that the people I met have fostered such a great sense of community. It really humbled me to want to aspire to that.